I'm going to show you the ultimate way to speed up Blender renders on your Mac without changing any of your scene settings. And in exchange, you'll support my channel by hitting that subscribe button below. Alright, so the key here is to only use your GPU for rendering. You don't want CPU getting involved, too many cooks in the kitchen is no bueno. First, you'll change this setting to GPU compute, and most people think that's all they need to do. Wrong. Open up your preferences, and under the system settings, make sure only your GPU is selected. You'd think having everything checked is better, but nope, that's not the case. And I'll show you how big the difference is. I'll check both of these and we'll run a render test. Most advice about rendering in Blender will focus on scene settings, number of samples, denoising, etc. And while those all play a huge part of your render time, this one setting actually makes a massive difference without sacrificing quality in your render settings. Plus, based on my experience, using GPU only will make your Mac run cooler and more quiet while being faster. I'm pretty sure the same principle of using GPU only and disabling your CPU in the settings also applies to PC workstations. I don't have a PC myself, so I can't test it, but from what I understand, it works the same way on both Mac and PC. All right, so our render is finishing up here right about now and looks like it took around 44 seconds with the settings I have. Now let's go disable the CPU and run the same render with the same settings, but using GPU only. I've tested this on two computers so far, one being my M1 Max MacBook Pro, and the other one is the M2 Mac Studio that I'm using now. Now let's rip another render with GPU only and see how that goes. One thing you'll notice, especially if you're doing this on a laptop, is that disabling CPU makes your computer run a lot cooler and more quiet. Obviously, a longer animation still gets my computer pretty warm, but at least the fans aren't going crazy like they do when Blender is using CPU for rendering. And boom! Same scene, same number of samples, same everything, except we're not using CPU now. And our render time went from 44 seconds to 24 seconds, essentially cutting it in half. So there you have it. Put that GPU in use and give your CPU some rest. And before you go, it would be a huge help if you tapped that like button or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next tutorial.